weather. Here's Michelle. Well, Danielle, things are looking better for us here in terms of the track of Hurricane Matthew. Still you know, several days here to analyze data coming in. It's quiet in southern New England and expected to be that way through the end of the week. As we look at our threat tracker today, Thursday and Friday, we're in the green. And if I had to extend that out through Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I'd likely keep it in the green as well based on some of the new data that's been coming in over the last say 12 hours. Looking in our Providence Hurricane Barrier camera, things are nice and quiet this morning. Sunrise coming up in about an hour, 647. It's cool under those clear skies overnight. The temperatures fall, uh, fell into the mid and upper 40s. Smithfield to Providence, Westerly, Newport in the 40s this morning, Taunton and New Bedford as well. We've had some clouds over eastern Massachusetts, so the temperatures there mostly in the 50s, Plymouth to Cape Cod. Some of those clouds will try to swing through here this morning, but high pressure is going to keep us dry, and that high pressure cell will control our weather over the next few days, keeping us storm free, keeps Matthew well to our south, and seasonable. Here it is now off the coast of Cuba as still a major hurricane, a category three. So that's down from yesterday. Wind still sustained at 125 miles per hour. And as of 5 a.m., it was still moving to the north, but we do expect it to start to turn to the northwest today, which will bring it up towards the Bahamas and over the Bahamas today and tomorrow, very close to Florida by Thursday night as a potentially category four hurricane again. So it still remains to be seen whether this will ever make a landfall in the United States. It'll be very close to eastern Florida. Florida, uh, Georgia and the Carolinas. But for us, this is good news that sharp turn to the east and the forecast track would keep this well south of southern New England. So if this is the case, and here's a look at all of our computer models, boy, this is a huge change from just 24 hours ago. Our models much, much further south. You notice there's still a few that bring it closer to southern New England. We're not writing this off, but the majority do take it um, more to the east of the Carolina. So the main takeaways today, the track further south would be much less impact here. Still some uncertainty with where it will head. We've got five days to analyze the data here, but looking at the commute into the work, into work this morning right around 50 degrees at 8 o'clock. Grab a jacket or sweater this morning before heading out the door. Nice recovery again today, mid to upper 60s, bright skies and dry in the afternoon. Inland spots, mid to upper 60s in Johnston, East Providence and Woonsocket. And we're looking good in southeastern Massachusetts. Seasonable highs, lots of sunshine. Northeast wind may keep you a little bit cooler. Taunton, Freetown, Plymouth compared to areas farther west. Tonight, back into the 40s, cool, dry and mostly clear. Light north northeast winds. So seven day future cast. Let's talk about the weekend. We're dry and warm Thursday, Friday, highs in the middle 70s. Saturday looking more like we may get our best shot at showers late on Saturday. So it looks dry in the morning, dry at one o'clock. By the evening could be seen a few showers trying to come in, continuing into Saturday night. As for Sunday, I was just texting a little bit with uh, Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca, who I saw up and tweeting on Facebook about removing the showers from Sunday's forecast. I don't want to flip flop later this week if the track ends up a little bit closer to us, but the data today would point to a dry Sunday and a dry Monday if we can keep Matthew South. So check back in for updates. It does look a little cooler heading into Columbus.